Join us! After months of job searching, we've never made it past the first interview, so we gave up and we're off to find the fabled Yeti. You're going to kill it? What? No, these are just our polite greeting dispensers we use. I think I found your job interview problem. Yell if you spot any traces of Yeti. Have you found any? <laughs> Not Yeti! <laughs> we finally got to use our joke! <laughs> we are the funniest people in history! <laughs> are you finished laughing? <laughs> and so went the next three hours. Hey, let's try out our Yeti call. You have a Yeti call? Yep. Of course, nobody knows what a Yeti sounds like, but since it's big, furry, vicious, and gray, we just combined a bear call, a wolf call, and a mountain lion call to blow into this megaphone. We figured nothing could possibly go wrong. You two aren't very experienced with outdoor survival, are you? We watched a couple video tutorials. How hard can it be? You might consider that you could attract hungry bears, wolves, and mountain lions. Well, then they'll feel pretty silly when they realize we don't have any food. Hi! You guys want me to shoot this heart-shaped arrow at someone or something? What'll it do? Kill it. Oh. I assumed you were somehow relevant to Valentine's Day. Why does everyone assume that? What, just because a guy wants to hang out in diapers in the snow with weaponry means he's crazy or something? No. I wasn't asking you, I was asking Frank the Hippo. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I agree, Frank. These people are judgmental and water plants are delicious. Your bow is concerning me at this point. Why? Does it whisper horrible things to you at night, too? Do you have any reason to think there's a Yeti out here? Sure, tons! For example, last month at a hiker's base camp, a guy said, This sandwich is tasty. We think he might have meant, Hey guys, I just saw a Yeti up the mountainside. Maybe he just liked his sandwich. And maybe he saw a Yeti! I guess since we don't have a time machine, we can't go back and ask him. Do you have anything else to go on? Yup, this Yeti map. That appears to be a napkin with a coffee ring on it. And maybe it's a Yeti map! I suppose you just think we should give up and never find out, huh? Is that the same tree we passed last week? You know the best thing about s'mores? They never try to turn you inside out, throw you into a salt-filled garbage truck, and turn on the trash compactor. Yeah, that's the best thing about most things. Edmund, would you mind turning on my soothing sounds machine over there? It helps me sleep. It looks like the batteries are out. Oh, then could you put your bare hands in the campfire for a bit? I don't see how that would solve... Oh. Edmund, after months of fruitless effort, we decided to end our search for the Yeti. We've now changed our course to a new quest. The search of the world's best hamburger. Tis a noble quest. Hey guys. <gasps> Do, Do you know, know where we, we can, can find, find the world's, world's best, best hamburger? hamburger? Um, that way? <coughs> I just came back into public because I wanted to give humans another chance. Ever since they first met me, they dubbed me the Abominable Snowman. Do you know what abominable means? Unpleasant, sickening, disgusting? Humans can be quite prejudiced. I know! So I put my spoon back into my bowl of sewage pudding, took my drinking straw out of my bathwater, and left. I think I may be sick. No thanks, I'm not hungry. Yeti, are you aware of your fantastic mustache potential? I'm Arnold the Mustache de Mustache, former world mustache champion. Your mustache isn't that impressive. Oh, this isn't my mustache. Ta-da! I bet you're wondering how I grew such a marvelous mustache. You have to think like a mustache. In any situation, I ask myself, what would a mustache do? And I act accordingly. Well, that's a very interesting outlook on life. 